So today we're going to talk again about lead in context sentences and the reasoning sentences for your quotes from the novel. And this time we're going to take it a step further because the reasoning sentences I've been seeing in your essays have been a little on the brief side. I've been seeing a lot of reasoning sentences that are only one sentence long. And I want you to pay attention to how long the reasoning is in my sample paragraph here. And I apologize for the screaming toddler in the background. So look at this topic sentence. It says, in addition to mockingbirds, blue jay symbolize the racist bullies and make him like Bob Yule. So I'm going to keep my context to just a few brief sentences to set up my quote. Again, you want to tell your reader kind of what's happening in the chapter or in the book when the quote occurs. Because again, you don't want to assume that the person reading your paper has necessarily read the book. So briefly, just in one to two sentences, tell your reader what is going on. So this says, after the trial, Bob Ewell vows to go after anyone involved in making him look bad. He attempts to break into Judge Taylor's house, harasses Tom's wife, Helen, and assaults Atticus one day. So that kind of sets up this quote from the novel to be understood. Um, so the reader of your paper knows what's happening here when he spits in Atticus's face. So the quote from the novel says, according to Miss Stephanie Crawford, however, Atticus was leaving the post office when Bob Ewell approached him, cursed him, spat on him, and threatened to kill him. So now we need to really explain how this quote shows that Bob Ewell is like a blue jay, because this quote really doesn't make that connection. So you need to make that connection for your reader. I want you to see just quickly how long my reasoning is. And it is definitely not one sentence. It is several sentences long. So pay attention to what I wrote here. This says, the blue jay symbolizes Bob Yule because, like a blue jay, Bob Yule harasses everyone around him. So here I make the connection. I'm saying the blue jay symbolizes Bob Yule because. But then I go on to explain this. I need to teach this concept to my reader. I'm not just saying the blue jay symbolizes Bob Yule because and stopping with one sentence. So pay attention. It says, blue jays attack other birds and other animals with intent to harm, and they chase them out of their territory. Bob Yule acts the same way. He attempts to break into Judge Taylor's house, and readers can infer that he intends to hurt him because he is the one who assigns Atticus to be Tom's attorney. He threatens Atticus. He, I'm sorry. He threatens Atticus because he is Attic, because it is Atticus who makes it evident that Bob Yule abuses his children and sexually molests his daughter Miela. Later in the novel, he attempts to kill Scout and Jem, Atticus's children, which would hurt Atticus in the worst way possible. Just like a blue jay. Just like a blue jay is the bully of the board world, Atticus is a bully who will attack innocent members of his own community. So you can see I have many, many sentences that fully develop this concept of why Bob Yule is a blue jay and why the blue jay is a symbol for this Bob Yule character. Not one sentence. Let's see how many sentences I have here. I have one, two, three, four, with some random capitalization here that I'm going to fix. Five, six, seven sentences. Not one. I have seven. So again, you want to play teacher here. You are teaching the concept to your reader. And then I've got my quote from the research. And I know you've seen this before, but I'm going to read it again. It says, Blue Jays are viewed as the bullies of the board world. They are very loud, territorial, and aggressive. The Blue, Jay represents, the Blue Jays represent the prejudiced bullies of Maycomb County, such as Bob Yule. So again, all my quote from the research is doing is it's reaffirming what my reasoning is saying. So it might sound redundant, but this is backing up what you're saying right here. And then again, the wrap up, all you need to do with the wrap up sentence is start with a transition from your transition list and then reword your topic sentence. So I said right here, truly the blue jay symbolizes Bob Yule. So again, with your topic or with your, uh, your lead in and your reasoning lead in, Keep it to two sentences. Provide some brief context. What is happening in the book when the quote is used? With your reasoning, extend, extend, extend. Not one sentence, not two sentences. You'll see that I have seven sentences. You're fully teaching your concept, okay? And again, I apologize for the screaming toddlers in the background.